Hello Cancer, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the um, 24th, sorry I just had to check, 24th through to the 30th of January 2022 or thereabouts. It could resonate a little bit beyond that time, Cancer. Um, it's a general reading so um, take what resonates with you but anything that doesn't please leave that behind it must be for somebody else at this time um, but let's see um, I'll start with the oracle of visions to get some overall energies for you cancer okay so what do we have for cancer please um, just quickly also to bear in mind we're in we're well into uh, mercury retrograde season at this time so just to double check with uh, travel plans to look at the small print on contracts and things like that and and also because you know mercury is the planet of the communication planet of the mind of communication and so there could be delays um to do with traveling to do with having you know signing of contracts um electronic equipment also can be affected at this time so just just something to be mindful of Nothing to be worried about, it's just being extra cautious, I think, at this time. All right, um, all right, what do we have for cancer, please? What do we have for cancer? Of course, we're still in, still in the beautiful energy of that uh, wolf moon, aren't we? It was absolutely glorious. And, and that also brought in, uh, you know, about a transformation in the time of introspection also. So let's see, Cancer. Get your reading started. OK, so we've got number 11. And number 11 talks about um, harmony, balance, being in tune with others. All right, so harmony, you know, creating music. Sometimes we, we can feel a lot more peaceful and balanced when we've got harmonious music harmonious for us you know it's different for everybody isn't it uh, music is is quite um uh, a certain you know we all have different tastes in music so what's harmonious for one person may not um hit the spot for another but but this is very much about um harmony and um and balance being in tune with others all right so let's see and then number 52, and this talks about direction, having a direction, having a sense of purpose, having clear objectives, objectives, and then taking the first step towards fulfilling those objectives. Um, and then harmony and balance, so let's see. Okay, so we'll get straight into your reading now, using the Psychic Tarot. So what information is important for Cancer to be aware of at this time? What's important for Cancer to be aware of at this time, please? What's important for Cancer to consider? What's important for Cancer, please? So we have the heart of your reading, Cancer, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward and something else your energies would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have emotional withdrawal. All right, so this is taking time out. Um, perhaps it's been a little bit of a difficult situation. Um, it could be... Um, a bit of low energy for example for some of you but for some whatever it is to do with it's the need to perhaps be on your own for a while to take time out not wanting too many um, distracting or high energy energies around you um, just to take time out and meditate and find that peaceful center within yourself okay I'll just put that to one side And using the energy cards, 
Could we clarify all of the cards on the table for cancer, please? If we could clarify the cards on the table for cancer. I'll just have a quick look at it. We've got the door to romance here. This is about finding the key to open the door to your heart or somebody else's heart. But the door to romance, you know, where, what, where is it? What is it? What does that mean for you, Cancer? So let's have a look. A bit more of a shuffle. Could we clarify the cards on the table, please? Right, at the bottom of the deck we have the Angel of Balance. So we've got the energy of balance that's come up again. And the Angel of Balance, you can see here, she is having to focus very hard on keeping the liquid in the vessel uh, level, keeping it straight, keeping it level. And that's because she's walking on shifting sands here. So it's very difficult. So to achieve this harmony, this balance within herself and for the liquid in the vessel, she has to focus and concentrate very hard. All right, so let's see. We'll just put that to one side. I will bring the, the cards all together near to the end. So but I'll just go through the meaning of them all um, initially. OK, so at the heart of your reading, Cancer, we have triumph and we have man holding a heart. The triumph is the chariot energy and this is your energy, Cancer. This is your energy right at the centre here. And it's a major arcana. And this is about taking control. Things starting to pick up a pace. But you being in control of the direction you're going in. Um, it's a, it brings a lot of success and achievement also um, within this energy. And it's to do with to do with a man bringing a heart forward. Um, and, and this would be a man. Um, normally, with a, you know, tarot is not gender um, specific however with the energy card it's very clear that this is a man coming forward holding a heart um, so I feel this is quite a specific reading for somebody or for a small handful of you here um, but there's a man coming forward with his heart offering his heart um, to yourself Okay. At the root of this situation, we have heartache and loss and the angel of strength. Um, so there's been some form of heartbreak and heart heartache here, a, a sense of loss. Um, and we have the angel of strength. So you've been protecting yourself um, because of this, which is understandable, because of this... Uh, loss, this this grief and heartache. You, you've you've had to defend yourself and be strong and draw on your inner strength. But you you have put a bit of a protective layer around yourself, Cancer. So the past influences. Yes, we've got spiritual union and adjacent possibilities. Um, so in the past, this is you know coming together. It's it's the two the two of cups in ordinary tarot, and it's. Being on the same page as somebody else, a close relationship here. Um, and it's, it's a spiritual union, so it's a, like a twin flame relationship. You see the two, the two people over the, the, the beautiful cup that's full, full of love and emotion. So this is a past influence and the clarifier is adjacent possibilities. So but out of all the options here, all the windows and doors, there's one in particular that's opened fully here um, that stood out from all the others. So there's something, there's somebody that stood out from the crowd here so far as somebody that you're on the same page with, Cancer. Out of, you know, the many options or... Um, other possibilities, other people around. There has been. There's something. There's somebody that stood out here. 
and it's bringing in this triumph and, and somebody bringing their heart forward. Yeah, so what you're thinking about is we've got harmony, um, which is the lover's energy in ordinary tarot, and the second chakra, which is Archangel Ariel. So harmony, um, major arcana, and this is being on the same page, very much in harmony um, with somebody else. It looks very much like a very close, intimate relationship here. But this is what you're thinking about. You're thinking about somebody here. Somebody that's making your heart glow. That you that appears to have a lot of love for you also. Um, and the clarifier, the sec, the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. This is this is the uh, your sacral chakra. And this is the chakra that uh, influences and governs um, all feelings about of passion, creativity, um, desire, and and that looks like it's it's sort of um, come alive, if you like, uh, and is glowing and is very dominant um, with the situation with with somebody. Sometimes. Um, the lover's energy is about making a decision, but in this case, it's focusing on the harmony, harmony between two people, and the passion now that's right, that's that's arisen. All right, so very interesting reading. I feel this is whoever this is for. I'm I, I, I'm sure you will recognise. Uh, this is your story, Cancer. Going forward, we have rest and rejuvenate and caring connections. I love the cards that are coming out for you, Cancer. This is, these are beautiful, beautiful energies. So going forward, um, there will be an opportunity to take time out for, for rest and rejuvenation to rebuild your energies because we have caring connections here look this is this is a very close loving relationship going forward and i feel before this um comes in fully i feel it's time just time to take take time out and build up your energies you know to recover from whatever this was for you you just need time to recover from that. But there's certainly new love coming in for you here, Cancer. But remember to look after yourself and nurture yourself first, to build up your energy and strength, to get ready for... Um, looks like a new, a new relationship. Or a deepening of an existing relationship. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful cards coming out for you. Right. Now then, what your guides would like to say to you. We have temptation and we have the temple path. Okay, there's something that's going to be distracting you here, Cancer. Now, this is the devil energy uh, in ordinary tarot. And, and what the devil energy means that it can be a bit of an obsessive energy, um, a set obsessive, addi addictive energy, um, feeling drawn to something. You see, the figure here is very much drawn to the light, and he tries to come away, but is he snaps back again. So, and it's a key. You see, it, this is a key, and it's something he wants, and he wants to get the key to open up something open the door to some to somewhere and it's but this is temptation and you see how it the tendrils start to wrap around him and keep him trapped so what your guide want to say to you is um just be aware that 
this may be an um this new relationship i feel could become overwhelming and um could create some form of an obsession that would be difficult to pull away from so just to be mindful of that and we you know we can all understand that especially when your heart has been broken in the past and that's why you need time to uh, recover cancer don't i feel what the energies are saying is try not to jump too deep headlong into this new relate passionate relationship when you haven't really fully recovered from past heartbreak um, because it can lead to an, being an obsessive energy, um, which which is which lays you open then to to um, disappointment, um, and it is not a good foundation for to build a new relationship on. So it's self nurturing, self care, um, and you know, allowing the universe and spirit to guide you. This is the temple path, and this is walking up the steps to um, your spiritual place, your, the place where for meditation, for contemplation, for connection with the universal energies. Um, and that's what, um, that's what, I feel that's what your guides want, want to say to you. I mean, you may feel with this new relationship that it that it is your temple path that it is meant to be and it and, and it be, and it is all encompassing for you and you jump in feet first um but your guides want to say you know um at some point in the future that may be the right time but it's not the right time at the moment uh, what the time is right at the moment is to take stock hold back a little bit um, nurture and look after yourself and build up your energies if this new relationship is meant to be then it will be you know it will be it may mean that a conversation to help somebody else understand your situation and, and what you need to do for yourself at this time okay so if we have a look um, right at the beginning we had um, harmony, a need for harmony, balance, being in tune with others, which is a lovely energy. And also taking the first step, you know, seeing where you want to go, be pointing the um, arrow and deciding and taking those first steps. So, you know, first steps to harmony and balance, perhaps. But at the heart of your reading, yes, here you are with a chariot, but charging forward triumphantly, feeling very successful and triumphant. And it's concerning a man coming forward, bringing his heart forward, a de declaration of love, I feel here. Um, at the root of it is a heartache and loss, a past, I think, is a past relationship that's broke your heart. And you've, you've put this um, protection around yourself. There's, there's, but it has helped to make you feel stronger. But you've had to draw on your inner strength also here to deal with this situation. Um, and the past influences um, going forward to being triumphant is a spiritual union with somebody else, feeling on the same page, a twin flame. And it's somebody that stands out from the crowd here. And this is what you're thinking about. You're thinking about somebody else and the harmony, the harmony between yourself and how how good it feels um, but it has sparked new passion and desire within you cancer and that's what you're thinking about um, and also you know emotional withdrawal um, which is again very similar to rest and rejuvenate so emotional withdrawal take time out meditate Walk yourself in for a massage, go near the water, go near the sea. And that helps to establish that peaceful centre and harmony within yourself. Yes, an angel of balance, a need for balance, but having to work at it. Give it time to create balance um, within yourself and around you. 
All right, so very similar cards coming out for you. And going forward again, rest and rejuvenate, taking time out. Um, and it's concerning um, a, re a relationship. Somebody that does care, you know, it's a caring connection here. Um, but you need to get yourself right first, Cancer. All right. Um, there's, a, there's a danger of um, obsessing here, of, of being drawn... Um, drawn to being to temptation being tempted to jump feet first into this relationship um, you know feeling that this is the right thing for you to do but also knowing that you need to look after yourself first it could become very overwhelming um, so as a need to connect with spirit here um, connect with spirit universal spirit your own spirit connect with yourself and get and get strong all right and if this relationship is meant to be cancer they they will they will wait for you they they will understand you know it's just having the conversation but it's a beautiful reading beautiful reading all right so could we have Two final messages, please, for Cancer. Two final messages for Cancer, please. we have um, grace and gratitude so through gratitude joy expands and in the flow everything's smooth sailing so through gratitude joy expands this is just appreciating and, and enjoying the simple things in life at this time just appreciating the blossom falling off a cherry blossom tree into your hand and how beautiful that is appreciating the beauty around you nature you know wildlife um, the advantages, what we have you know, to enjoy. So it's having grace and gratitude, and that's an important energy for you at this moment, Cancer. Um, and, and just to settle in to that, that simple pleasure. Right. Um, because you're in the flow, everything is smooth sailing, so you're, you're in the groove now, you're coming away from the crowd, you know where you're going, the, the light is shining, and just sit back uh, and enjoy the ride now. I think things are becoming quite comfortably set for you. Um, but it is important to nurture yourself at this time, Cancer. Put yourself first before sharing yourself and your life with a significant other. Um, I feel it's important to get yourself into that into that groove. Um, but you're in the flow now. So beautiful reading, Cancer. Um, whoever this was for, and it won't be for everybody, but whoever it was for, I hope you've enjoyed the reading and it has had meaning for you. Um, and good luck going forward. And I do hope you can join me again. Bye-bye for now.